I'm further away. Aye, aye, aye. So it's the same thing, there's nothing really changes that much. So, for you, it's the same swing. For you, yeah. try to be. Um, but then, if we play um, some weeks whenever we're playing, um, if it's windy, uh, or if we're playing somewhere like here where you want to hit the ball higher, sometimes you want to hit it higher, sometimes you want to hit it lower if it's windy or not. So, basically, all I try to do is make the same swing, but I just move the ball where, where I wanted my stamp. So if I want the ball higher, more towards this foot, a little bit more. If I want it lower, more towards that foot. So that's, that's all I do. So I try to make the same swing as I've just done there, but just move the ball on my stamp. So if I want to hit it higher, it's more, fall slightly more forward, and <coughs> make the same swing. Try and hit it on the top face. Fall forward, same swing, and it'll go higher. So, if I want to hit it higher, all I do is move it forward. If I want to hit the ball lower, like I did in the British Open where it was windy, the ball just goes back in my stance a little bit, same swing. For the British yeah, yeah. That one, that won't work. I see, <laughs> <laughs> I see the TV and beautiful gentleman. Yeah, Before the, the bunker, yeah. the, I don't know, the, the, the horse, 16. No? Uh, just uh, you hit it in the rough, in the uh -huh. rough just after the, the bunker, the board. Uh -huh. Yeah, at 2 meters, yeah, yeah. the, the fly. Yeah. 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 But it's, it's just, I grew up here. I live, I live in, um, now I live in Northern Ireland. Yeah. Back home up on the coast, very, very north of Port Rice. So it's linked stuff, so I do it all the time. I practiced, when did I practice? Uh, Sunday at Port Rice, and it was blowing um, 40 miles an hour, <coughs> so it was blowing hard. So every time was, was this. So every time, so the ball position, basically, where your ball position is. The tip of it goes up high, not slow, but I don't change my swing. Everything, everything is So, if you can hit the ball low, hit the ball high, if you want to hit it right to left or left to right, and then you've got everything. If you want to hit it right to left, I line my body up, everything right off my target, but my club face points towards my target, so I just swing along the line of my feet. So, this one will go right to left. Same swing again. goes right to left. If we want to go the other way, then line my body up this way, keep my club face pointing towards my target, same swing again. The ball goes the other way. So you have it right to left, left to right, high, low, whatever you want. I say after my shot where I want. But uh, that's what we all practice. You know, we move the ball <coughs> about a little bit. Not all the time trying to trying to hit the ball straight. We're all, always trying to do the thing. And then um, we judge our distance sometimes by going down the shaft a little bit to take maybe a few yards off the shot or something. If we've got close flags where we need to be very accurate, but most of the time. It's exactly the same swing as I showed you with the lob weight. It's just a standard, ordinary shot like this. Any more questions? Uh, no? <laughs> no more questions. How is the proportion of the uh, playing and training? <laughs> when you want to train. Train in the gym? The in the gym? <laughs> Me? No, no, gym. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 much, much more train, train than play. Um, whenever we, we would spend 80% of our practice time chipping and putting. 20%, 20% hitting balls. 
So 80% is chip and pump. Because we can all hit the ball pretty good, but everybody need to get it up and down. So 80% is short game, 20% all the rest. So, because as I said, most times when you see amateurs, the first thing they do is grab their driver. And they never go chipping and putting. All they want to do is hit a driver, which is fine, but if you want to improve and get better, chip and putt, chip and putt, chip and putt. So, it just depends what, what you need to do. And then, Sometimes, whenever I'm playing a length, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, but that's practice, practice, practice. Hit it. But I play that a lot at length because I'm at home in Port Rush, so I need to hit that a lot. Um, it, dep it depends. Um, it depends what the weather's like. You know, if it's too hot, you don't want to practice too long because you, you try to save your energy for the tournament. Uh, it depends how you're playing. If you're playing well, you don't quite practice this as much. You spend more time chipping and putting. If you're playing thoroughly, then you need to work on your mechanics and get them get them pretty good. But a normal day, um, a normal day like today would be maybe I don't know between eight and ten hours of the golf course, whatever that is, practice or playing or whatever. It be. That's that's what an average day is. Sometimes more. It just depends. Yeah, sometimes more. But it's like it's. it's because it's our job, you know, we, it's the same as yours. We don't just fly in, stay in a nice hotel, and go play golf. You know, we gotta, we gotta work. Yeah, exactly. We gotta work. But that's the way it is. So, with this one, I get a little low one, so the ball's a little bit further back in my stand. So, so whenever it gets really, really windy, all I do is stand and that all the time, so the wind never touches.